How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to give you my top 5 UI mods for Civilization 6. These are mods that I've been using myself in the past week and have found especially functional within the game itself. And they've really helped me out in terms of reducing unnecessary time sinks. I'm not going to be listing these in any particular order, but the first one is the enhanced main menu. This mod both speeds up animations within the menu, as well as adds a Civilopedia and an actual world builder, which is actually quite functional at the moment. I have tried it out briefly and it is possible to load and save maps in it, as well as some basic tile editing, but there is a lot to be desired. I would only really recommend that if you are really, really anxious to get started designing your own maps because there are likely to be much better ways to do it than actually using this but it's nice to see a built-in world builder at least as an option for those who want it next we have the unit report screen now this mod does two things number one it adds a units tab to the report screen so you can see all of your current units that are located around the map you can click on them to locate them in their current position this is much needed because at the moment you can only find your list of units by clicking on the current unit name. It was both unintuitive and not very functional. In addition to this, it fixes the yields tab to include a units and districts number to the expenses. This is a small improvement, but overall I found it quite informative. Number three, we have the civ selection screen. Now this is pretty simple and it was really a quality of life mod. A lot of players were annoyed that Civilization 6 only had a drop down menu for Civ Selection and Civ Selection screen does its best to rectify that problem by adding a really customized interface for each civilization which loads out all the details of that civilization such as the trait, their unique unit, and their unique building among other things. I have been using it and have almost forgotten how bad the old one was. Number four we have the custom city panel. This is one I'm definitely liking a lot. It really improves the city selection panel and I'm just going to briefly run over everything it adds. The number of buildings has been switched to number of districts out of total possible districts and if you hover over the word districts it'll now show the built districts in that city and the buildings in each district as well as telling you if a building or district is pillaged. It also adds a tooltip for the religions bar to show how many citizens follow each religion, your pantheon belief, and beliefs of the dominant religion in that city. Another addition is the tooltip that shows the amenities bar with the current mood of that city and the current benefit or hindrance of the mood as well as what's causing it. Additionally, hovering over housing will give the current food modifier from housing. Hovering over food will now show the amount of food lost from population consuming it. The production bar on the city panel has been changed to show total production on the right side of the bar. Whenever the production panel is opened, and this is one of the most revolutionary parts of this entire mod, the city panel now moves to the left so it isn't covered up by the production panel, which is actually something that I bemoaned in my first impressions video of Civilization VI. So I was really happy to see that it was probably one of the biggest improvements in my opinion for this mod. And finally, the growth bar has been shortened to make room for an expansion bar which shows you how many turns until your city expands its borders. This is probably, in my opinion, the second most useful improvement of this mod. Uh, before this, it was very difficult to tell when your city borders will do, were due to expand. Finally, we have the better trade screen. And this mod fixes many of the glaring issues with the trade screen. Uh, a lot of reviewers have actually no made note of this. And, you know, just in general, the trade overview was not the best. It was difficult to sort between different trade routes and whatnot. And so I'm just going to run over the overview of the changes here. So for the trade overview screen, it now remembers the last tab open. Available routes shows all possible routes even if the trade route is not present in the origin city. Route entries background is tinted based on the destination city's owner. Yields are aligned to make it easier to compare them. You can now sort trade routes by food production, gold, science, culture, faith, and distance. You can also filter trade routes by my cities, other major civs, city states, city states with a trade quest, and each civilization you met depending upon which civilizations are currently in the game. Origin City and Destination City Yield are shown on the same screen. 
city states with the trade quest have an icon showing that they have that quest. In the trade route truiser, yields are once again aligned. You can also, much like in the trade overview, now sort based on food production, gold, science, culture, faith, and distance, as well as added new filters for other major civs and city states with a trade quest. And the yield value text, the text itself, those little numbers are now colored according to the yield. So if it's uh, going to increase your food production, the text will be green. The numbers will be green. And that pretty much sums it up. I will be including a link to each of these mods, respective download pages on the Civ Fanatics forum. Now, some of them can be installed as simple mods. Some of them re require you to install them as DLC and others actually require you to alter your default files in Civilization VI to make them work. The level of complexity is up to you. You don't have to use all of them, but in case you do want to use all of them, they are compatible. I have checked and you can use all of them together, but I can't guarantee that they will work with any other mods you might have installed. Now, a small disclaimer that I would like to point out is that there's no telling where Firaxis will take Civilization VI in the future and that these mods are due to change due to either a lack of being updated or Firaxis themselves simply updating the game and pretty much negating the reason for these mods to exist. So anyway, I hope you found at least one useful mod to try out here and hopefully it will improve your Civilization VI experience. I can attest to the fact that they did for me. Thank you for watching as always and hope to see you next time.